Now I'd like to talk about first principles reasoning. First principles reasoning is an attempt to discard the problem structure and return to first principles. First principles in this case means things that are fundamentally irreducible. Physical laws, minimal costs of materials, things that are not that way because we chose them to be that way. There's just nothing we can do about them. Okay, so Elon Musk is of course a champion of first principles reasoning. So uh, he, in a famous example, uh, used first principles reasoning to drive down the cost of the Tesla battery. And so I'm going to talk about that one. So his challenge was the cost of batteries was a major component of the Tesla, and he wanted to drive that down. So he started by saying, well, what do we need to make a battery? Throwing away all existing relationships and supply chain structures and things like that, what do you really need? And the answer is you only need two things. You need raw materials and you need some you know, process through which labor transforms those raw materials into a battery. That's it. There's nothing more to making a battery than having raw materials and executing a process to transform them into, into a battery. So then for each of those things, you go and ask, well, what's the fundamental cost? So for raw materials, you can price the materials off commodity exchanges, and Musk famously did that and uh, realized that the cost of raw materials for the Tesla battery in bulk off of major exchanges is something like $50 for a Tesla battery. So obviously, most of the cost has to be in the process. And then there are ways, once you've realized that that's a problem, there are ways to drive down that cost. So, for example, you might uh, try to take steps out of the process or to say, you know, can we use robot labor or can we uh, fundamentally drive the cost of the process down? Now, in Musk's case, he actually designed and built a specialized factory called the Gigafactory that just punches out Tesla batteries. And by doing that, he was able to drive the process cost down considerably. And so then the cost of the entire battery came, came uh, much lower. So that's a great example of using first principles reasoning to say, well, what am I really constrained by, independent of any structure? Like the five wise technique, first principles reasoning can lead to much more valuable problems and thus more valuable solutions. But it's also a disruptive technique because you're throwing away the entire uh, structure of, of how people traditionally solve the problem. That can be due to far more value, but it also means that in an industrial context, uh, a company is going to have a harder time incorporating that kind of solution because it, the company is a machine geared towards executing some process that you are currently blowing up, and so they don't want to do that. But it's still an extremely valuable technique, and if you have a free hand, you can get to much more valuable solutions by using first principles reasoning. So in this video series, we covered three techniques for finding more valuable problems. The first is pipeline analysis, the second is the five wise technique, and the third is reasoning from first principles. So when you find a problem, you can look at it and say, is this part of a pipeline? And if so, I can conduct a pipeline analysis and maybe find if this is the most valuable part of the pipeline to work on or not. If not, then obviously work on a different part. Or you could also start asking why and see if you can find a more valuable problem that way. Or finally, you can say, well, before I, I even try to get into this problem, let me try to discard any existing structure and any presuppositions and go back to the first principle of thinking about what is absolutely important and irreducible and see if that leads me to a different type of solution that may be more valuable. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like it. And if you find it valuable, please share it with your friends.